Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Jamie and today I wanted to come and talk to you about my drugstore foundation collection. So I have a lot of drugstore foundations. I actually just went through what's kind of made my final cuts um, and there's probably like gonna be a lot more coming, more cuts coming, but I have 16 of my of my drugstore foundations that I wanted to rank for you. I love ranking videos. I love drugstore makeup. If this type of video interests you, welcome. Welcome to the video. Thank you for clicking on it. And if you could please consider subscribing to my channel below, I'd really appreciate it. But let's jump into it. I'm gonna start with the bottom because I feel like that's where you start and you work your way up to the best. Some of these are probably some of y'all's favorite foundations. And I understand that. Everyone has different skin types. Everyone has different foundation wants. You know, my, my makeup performs differently. I have different wrinkles and cracks and crevices and all kinds of things that other people don't have. Um, and I was surprised with some of these because some of them are, you know, my favorite YouTubers foundations as well and they just didn't always work out for me so please don't take offense to it everyone has an opinion that's good and bad at times but anyway let's jump into this so starting at the bottom is the dream radiant liquid foundation from maybelline i have a couple different shades of this really because when i bought it the shade range at ulta was just not good at all when i first bought it and i could not tell what type of color I would be in. So I ended up picking up a couple of them and I just never returned it. It's supposed to have hyaluronic acid in it and collagen and it's supposed to be, you know, really great. I heard radiant liquid and I just thought this was going to be right up my alley. Clearly, I like some radiance to my face. And unfortunately, it just did not work out for me. I found that it really settles in my, in my fine lines and did not wear well. It just didn't look overall very well I can mix it with other foundations and deal with it you know and it's it's okay I definitely have kept it as a mixing foundation I do that often but just not a favorite for me I really wish it just wouldn't have settled into my lines but I have it in shade 75 here I have another one I think it's shade 60 but they're still both dark and I thought this was at the top of the lightest part of the shade range that they had at Ulta on the display. So this is a while ago. I believe this is like $14. So it's kind of creeping up in price and just not a hit for me, which is surprising because there's some Maybelline um, foundations in here I really like that are a lot more reasonable. So strange. Anyway, bottom number 16. Number 15, also going to hurt some people's feelings here, <laughs> ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I bought this also in two shades, Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. Sounds like it's right up my alley. I have it in two, oh, Light 70W. I thought the, the shade match is pretty good for me, but I just didn't like the way it wore on my skin. It just looked a little bit makeup-y, maybe because I like like a light medium coverage and I feel like this could have just been like a, a, a more coverage, maybe this one too. And that's kind of where it just doesn't work for me. Maybe if I use this with a sponge, that might work better. But anyway, um, typically I do put my foundations on with my hands, which I know is also controversial. Everybody has their own way of doing things. That's my way. So anyway, number 15, you know, the pretty fresh foundation. Also really reasonable. I think it's under $10. Then Milani's Glow. This is their new hydrating skin tint. I do have some skin tints in here, um, but these are just everything I own from the drugstore. That's kind of foundation skin tint type of products. What I loved about this was the glow what i didn't love about this is that it is so it's like light 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 sheer coverage and that's just you know i have to like really layer this on to get any type of coverage so this kind of goes to the opposite end of the spectrum and i like it it has squalene in it which is cool i have the fair to light color i haven't returned it you know i'm keeping it but I'm just not a fan and I would probably like mix it in with one of these other ones and make it something that I could deal with because this is a little heavier. This is really light together. They would probably make something that I would enjoy. So that's how kind of how I do it, but I'm still keeping those around. So that was number 14. We're moving on to number 13, which is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This one's okay. 
I definitely think it's extremely light coverage. Again, it just doesn't really stay down. Like I think both of these, I definitely have to powder. They're just gonna stay greasy on my face. And they're just a little bit more finicky than some of the other foundations that I like a little bit more. So that's it, nothing wrong with this, but just, you know, something that I have to work with a little bit more. And I would probably, once again, mix it with some of the more full coverage ones to get a good middle ground. And this is in natural beige 60, and I think this is around $10 as well. Then we're moving into, oh, this is another favorite of a bunch of people's, <laughs> L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I don't think I have the best shade match for me in this one. This is a 425. I think I could go a little bit darker. It's super light. Um, you know, things I like about this is the long wear, the longevity of it. Things I don't like about this is it's too full coverage and a little bit matte for me. I like a little bit more of a glowy finish. I feel like this one wears matte for me. I know everybody's skin is different. I have dry skin. So if it's a drier foundation or if it can go matte, it will on my skin. So just please keep that in consideration. <laughs> when you're saying, oh my gosh, it's so glowy on me. It's like, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I could definitely like take a glowy product and mix it together and I would have something better. That's why these are still existing in my collection. I haven't gotten rid of them because they do serve a purpose and I can still wear them. Um, but they just don't get as much wear as some of the other ones. So I think this is once again, I think it creeps up around $14.99 or so. I'm not sure. Okay, so that was number 12. Now we're moving on to number 11. I have the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. This one was okay. I don't really have too much bad to say about this. It just ran into my smile lines a little bit more than I would. I would like, but other than that, I did like the glow of this. I think the price is pretty good. I mean, I think it's like $7 or so. I have the shade Nude. I didn't really love the shade range. It was hard for me to find a color that worked for me, but this one was okay. I just didn't like the way it settled on my skin, but I liked the glow and I liked the consistency and I did not mind um, the foundation coverage for that one. So then moving down the line, the Flower Get Real serum foundation so this one's really light coverage as well it's sheer very moisturizing um something that you have to set down but i did like you know the the moisturizing um amount for you know how much i needed to apply i didn't mind setting it down and i like this one i like how light it is on my skin and this is in warm beige l4 oh it was also hard to find a shade in this one because I have the other Light Illusion Foundation I'll talk about in a minute. It's a little bit higher on my list. And the, and the shades were different. So that kind of just threw me for a loop. But anyway, moving on to number nine, I have the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow in 203. I have this in a couple shades actually because it's so reasonable at the drugstore. I like this radiant finish. It does fall into my smile lines a little bit, so I have to make sure I set it. But overall, I like this one and I like that I can kind of shear it out and have no problems shearing it out. And it's kind of like medium coverage to me. Yep. And it wears a pretty long time. So I like this one. That is why it's at number nine. So coming in at number eight is this number seven match made custom blend foundation drops. I like these, the little bit goes a long way. That's why it seems like such a small container, but it actually works out just fine. I would say it's potent, just like, you know, the this will carry you just as far as an ounce, and this is a half ounce. Um, I really like it. I felt like it blended out really well. It's nice. Um, you just have to be kind of like light with it. And it's also kind of cool that it's so, you know, um, potent that you can maybe mix it with a moisturizer or something or what i do is always mix it with something <laughs> that's more glowy and less coverage and then you end up with a great finish but all on its own i really like this one as well i would just use like a sponge to apply it so it can kind of shear it out and blend it a little bit more for me but this is good and it's not talked about very much at all so 
Moving in, oh yeah, and then this one, I think it's like, it kind of runs a little high, maybe $14.99 because it is number seven. They kind of run a little high. I know that they sell that at um, Target and at Walgreens, I believe, or CVS. Then these two kind of run neck and neck with my, for me, these are both the Maybelline um, Dewy and Smooth and Matte and Poreless poreless Maybelline foundations. I have these actually in two different colors, 118 and 125. I fall in between this type of shade range by them. So a lot of times I mix them together, but really on their own, I like both of them. I think that the dewy and smooth is pretty dewy though. So I would probably go for the matte and poreless if I had a choice. I do like to go dewy, but I think the matte and poreless has a great finish to it and it doesn't feel like it's too matte to me, my preferences. So I like these and they're kind of neck and neck at six and seven and I can't decide which one I would say. Well, I guess like I said, maybe I would do the dewy would be number seven and number six would be matte and poreless. And I really like them and they're like $5.99 a piece at Target. Like buy it. Seriously, you're not going to regret it. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, Light Illusion by Flower Beauty. I have it in the color Nude L3. This one I like a lot. It just has a pretty good amount of coverage, so I have to use a sponge when I put it on. And it is very luminous and glowy. I like that about it. And I really like this one. I think it's probably around $14.99. And I don't know if it's still available at Ulta. I did buy this at Ulta when it was available, but now I think Flower Beauty might be where you need to go to get this. And it does have pretty full coverage, but it blends out really nice. So I like this one. Then this one, which is the Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. This one I like a lot. Um, I was surprised when I tried it. I have number 20 Golden Ivory. I actually have a couple different shades of this. I think it's around $14.99. That's not the cheapest. This one is really nice. I don't feel like it's super glowy. When it says radiant, I hear a lot of people on YouTube say it's radiant, it's radiant. I really don't feel like this is radiant on my skin. It kind of leans a little bit more matte, which is okay. I would love it if it's a little bit more radiant and all this radiance people are speaking of. I'm like, where's mine? I would love to have it. Um, but I think all in all, this is really good. It has pretty good coverage. It's like medium coverage. Sometimes I blend it out a little bit more so I don't get as much coverage because it's kind of leaning. You can build it up pretty well. And it's a solid foundation and it's a good, um, a, definitely a good release from L'Oreal. I love L'Oreal foundations. I really do. Um, overall, I feel like they, they have been really high on my list of products that I like. And so when L'Oreal launches a new foundation, I definitely pay attention. Moving on to another drugstore brand that I love, Wet n Wild. So this is the new Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. And when you look at that name, you think like, oh, it's gonna be really light, but it's not. This has really good coverage to it actually. And it feels great on the skin. It feels hydrating. It wears really well. It, it definitely comes off like a tinted hydrator would, so it's not like the longest lasting product on the market, but I really like it. And I have two different shades, but the light medium shade is a really great match for me. And I, I bought light and light medium. I feel like light medium has got more of a yellow undertone, and this is awesome. This is a great product, so happy. I picked it up and I can see repurchasing this again in the future. This is definitely awesome. So go wet and wild. They are like killing it and you'll see why in just a second. Then the next foundation I have is the Milani Screen Queen foundation. This one is a new purchase for me because it just really went on sale at Target. I got this for like five bucks at Target Online. So check it out. I think maybe they're phasing this out. It's been around for a while, but it's in shade 250 is what I got. And I really like this. I've been wearing it and I have no problems with it. Some people say this is like a dupe for the Pat McGrath foundation. I don't know what it is, but I know I like it. And um, it is kind of like a radiant medium coverage, shears out really well. It doesn't fade into my fine lines. Um, it's really nice. And it was $5, which is normally, you know, like $14 if you bought it somewhere else. But I got mine at, um, at 
Target like three weeks ago. So look online, I'll link it below and I'll try to get this one while it's on sale. Great, great foundation. So then my top drugstore foundation, which is really crazy because it's probably one of the cheapest drugstore foundation foundations is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy foundation. This stuff is awesome. It's like a medium coverage. You could definitely build it up to full, but you could sheer it out and make it light. I like it on the light sheared out side. It is a great finish. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. It feels really good on the skin. It doesn't have any sunscreen in it. So I guess that's a, you know, a downer, but my, I use my skincare has sunscreen in it anyway. So I don't really care that it doesn't. This is like $5.99 or less at the drugstore and such a gem. Like seriously, buy this. If you haven't bought this, as a matter of fact, go on a little wet and wild spree and buy both of these because I think you can get both for under 10 bucks or something ridiculous. And this is gonna be awesome. I'm, I'm just curious if everybody else is as happy with these two foundations as I am. Like I said, there's a lot of different favorites in here, but this one is just really great. And this is in soft beige and it's a pretty good match for me. Every time I wear this, I am like, how is this a drugstore foundation? It's just that good. And this is just something I think everybody should at least try. So anyway, that is it. Talking about all my favorite drugstore foundations. I love a good deal. I hope this was informative for you guys. And I hope it didn't offend anybody. But if it did, you know, oh well, that's life, really. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you again soon. All right, bye.